Now to the very latest on that New Britain serial killer case. Seven bodies found there in that wooded area in New Britain. Six of those victims might still be nameless if it wasn't for a piece of modern technology. News 8's Jason Newton is live tonight in New Britain with a look at how DNA played an important part in this investigation. Jason? And yeah, that's right. Right back here is where the remains of those seven victims were found. Of course, six of them were identified through DNA evidence. It's something that the University of New Haven's forensics department specializes in, and they even played a role helping out with the investigation. Nuclear DNA is how investigators were able to identify six of the seven human remains that were found behind a New Britain shopping plaza. I would like to think University of New Haven provided a, a very helpful service to uh, the task force. Now this machine may not look like much, but it's actually worth about $20,000 and it's invaluable when it comes to searching an area. It's called ground penetrating radar, but it works like a metal detector, sensing objects buried beneath the ground. The University of New Haven owns the device and trains with it regularly. They were called by the Greater New Britain Serial Killer Task Force to help search the wooded area where the remains were found. Those people out in the field really have the toughest job because they have to a, identify what that evidence is, properly collect it, properly package it, properly document it. DNA evidence is also how police were able to convict William Devin Howe on manslaughter charges for the death of Nilsa Ayers Mendy. Her blood was found inside Howe's van, so even without a body, he was convicted after her abduction in Weathersfield. And I can't even imagine how many people didn't get hurt because Mr. Howe was convicted of manslaughter in 2005. And of course, multiple sources close to the investigation have confirmed that Hal is a suspect in the other six murders, but nobody has said if or when they'll file murder charges against him. We're live in New Britain, Jason Newton, News 8.